such a nice day out today. I wish I could enjoy the weather without being stressed, though. It's not bad stress. It's just stress about who I'm going to invite to the camping trip. Thankfully, the biggest issue, aka Cassidy and her parents, all went really well last night. And thankfully, I mean, there was no problem with her coming out as bisexual and liking girls and guys. Her mom was actually surprisingly supportive, like, overly supportive. I found it really sweet. <laughs> But that still leaves the question, who am I going to invite to the camping trip? Cassidy, because it might be nice for her to, you know, get some relaxation in by camping. Or I could do uh, Joy, obviously. Um, I bet she'd like camping. We, we have gone on camping trips together. It's always been a lot of fun. Or I could try and ask if Dinka come. There's no way my dad would say yes to that though. He's way too protective. Unless I can somehow convince my parents by the fact that it's a straight guy. As far as I know. And they probably would have let Cassidy come and Cassidy's by. As long as I would obviously run it by Cassidy to make sure that point was okay with her. I don't want to out her to anyone that, you know, she doesn't want to be outed to right now. I know it could be very fragile. And it's nothing you want to, you know, you don't want to risk someone feeling vulnerable in a situation. So I would ask Cassidy first, of course. But I could use that comparison as, so you'd let a bi girl sleep in the same tent as me, but not a straight guy? That's a little... I don't know, that just seems a little like, mm, not gonna lie. I wouldn't want to manipulate them though, I probably won't do that. <laughs> I'll probably just invite Joy or Cassidy. I don't know though, I'll figure it out. Uh, at least it's a pretty day. What if, can someone see my window from the street? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, no, thank goodness. Uh, hey, Antonio, what's up? H hey, Angel. How are you? How are you? Good. Plenty to trip for this weekend. Tyler has off for work for the first time in a while, so we're going out of town on a little vacation. Oh, nice. Um, is Joy coming with you? Joy's coming too, as long as she gets her essay for British literature finished before. I see. Um, well, I'll let you get back to what you're doing. Um, have a nice night. Okay, Angel, it was nice talking to you. Have a good night. So, Joy's off the table. Kind of eliminates more of my stress, but now I'm really between Cassidy and Dean. On one hand, I could invite Cassidy because I feel like she could use the break from everything. Hello, Kamaji. What the? You're not supposed to climb on the lamps, Kamaji. That's supposed to be off limits. Meow. Why, do, why do I even bother? Um, <laughs> I could invite Cassidy to let her have a little bit of a stress relief, or I could invite Dean to try to get closer. I don't know. I'll figure it out. For now, I'm just gonna work on my homework and stuff for tomorrow. <sighs> Look out, here she comes. She'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls 
or at least I try to be. Cause I hope that I'm not showing how I feel for her. But she won't feel the same for me. I've got this picture in my mind. It's just the two of us. Just the two of us. But I know I'll have to try. Try to let her go. Because she won't be mine. I listen when she talks. I watch her when she walks. She's giving me. Oh, this don't look so yummy. <laughs> Sunday, you sparkle even more. Uh, really? Uh, anyways, uh, let's eat while we walk to school. Okay. Your eyes are. They're, they're, very, they're very pretty, too. <laughs> let's go to school. Race ya! Got lost inside the blue of those eyes. I've gotta let her go. I know it won't be easy. I wanna hold her close. But I have to try. Try as hard as I can. Cause she'll never be mine. <laughs> 